What's going on guys, Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you some more Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 gameplay where I'm going to be talking about the upcoming Need for Speed title, Need for Speed Rivals. Now, E3 is just around the corner, and hopefully we'll get to see some gameplay, but what I, what I want to talk about in this video is some of the features that I think need to come back, that I think are necessary to Need for Speed, and I'm kind of picking features from different Need for Speed games and kind of bringing them into this game, hope and hoping that EA actually does bring them into this game. Now, first off, Auto Sculpt. Now, if you guys remember Auto Sculpt from Pro Street, it's basically where, well, Pro Street and Carbon, it's basically where you could use, you could put a body kit or a certain type of wheel on your vehicle, on your car, but then you'd be able to adjust the specific parameters of each, um, each piece in its in itself for example like if you put a wheel if you take a wheel and you put it on you would be able to adjust the, uh, the the size of the rim the 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 dish of the rim you'd be able to adjust various uh, various specifics of the rim itself which I think is just is just really cool that's that's the kind of customization we need you know that's the that's the kind of detail that Need for Speed has been really good at over the years, and I think if they bring it back, they could definitely show some of that. They could show some of how they're listening to the community and how they could actually bring that back. If they bring Autosculpt back, that would be sweet. That would be really, really sweet, and I really enjoyed Autosculpt. I spent quite a bit of time with it, actually, um, just customizing, customizing my cars, especially my drift cars in Need for Speed Pro Street. I remember I had uh, several cars. I had an A86, I had a 350Z, and I think I had an S13 as well, I'm not sure. It might have been a Miata, I don't remember. But, um, but yeah, auto-sculpt with the, because you could do it, you could do it with wheels, uh, bumpers, body kits, side skirts, spoilers, like everything. Everything could be sculptable, and that's what, that's one of the things that I think would be really cool that if they were to add that to Need for Speed Rivals. Now, another thing that I really want to see in uh, Need for Speed Rivals is, since it's going to be an open world game, I want there to be, like, when you're free roaming around online, I want you to be able to, uh, to free roam around online with your friends and get into cop chases online. So, I mean, you guys have, that have played Need for Speed Most Wanted know how awesome the cop chases are, and if you're like me, you will have wanted you would have wanted those cop chases to be in multiplayer so you could actually have a cop chase with your friends and I really hope that they bring that back um, they had it in uh, Hot Pursuit uh, 2010 which by the way was a, another game by Criterion and it was a, it was really good it was really good they incorporated the cop mechanics really really well and I don't know why they didn't do that in in Most Wanted 2012 but they didn't and I'm really hoping that they bring back all of those cop elements in Need for Speed Rivals. Now, they are, they've already said that there's going to be a racer campaign and a cop campaign in Need for Speed Rivals, which is awesome. I love doing the cop campaigns. I think they're really cool. But I really hope that they incorporate police chases into the online play because, you know, I, that, that's where a lot of the fun is. You know, that's where a lot of the fun is, escaping from the cops, especially if the cops are your friends. Like, if you get a full party of people, like, you've got... I don't know, eight people in a lobby and four people are racers, and then the other and then the other four are cops, and they're calling in stuff, they're calling in backup and helicopters and roadblocks. It gets intense pretty quickly, but it's fun. It's really fun and it it's it adds to the game and it adds that it adds another dimension to that social gameplay, which by the way, social gameplay I really want to get to I really want to be able to talk about the new um, Oh gosh, the new auto log system. Now they've they said they are going to be basically revamping the auto log system and coming out with a new version of the auto log system. And the auto log system is already really really good. It's really in depth. It tracks everything. Uh, it's all it's always comparing everything that you do with your friends in um, already in uh, Most Wanted. But I mean, what what could what could they what could they possibly do? to make the uh, to make the next version of it better I'm not I'm not even sure because it tracks absolutely everything right now I mean maybe they could make it a little more streamlined and actually create sort of a mini social network within the game which I mean it'd be kinda cool as long as they didn't make it like real gimmicky and kinda just throw it in if they actually spent some time 
to create like an in-game social network, then I think it would be it would be worth it. I think it'd be really it would be real it would bleh, can't talk right now for some reason. It would be a very good addition to the game, and I think it would work out pretty well. I think it would actually it would make sense because with all of the social gameplay and social competition, it would make a lot of sense to have that in the game. Now another thing I want to talk about real quick is some of the some of the other cars that I forgot to mention in the last video that I want to see in um, in Need for Speed Rivals. I want to see some cars that aren't that you don't usually see. Like for example, the Cadillac CTSV wagon. You don't see that, but it's a 556 horsepower station wagon. You know what's not to like about that? What's not to like about that? What's why would you not put that in a Need for Speed game? It's just it just seems like there are these really cool cars that you never see in any of these games and I think they should be I think they should obviously they should get the mainstream stuff in there you know your Ferraris your Lamborghinis Koenigseggs Bugattis I mean Koenigseggs a little less mainstream but but still they should have some of these some of these cars that nobody ever puts in racing games you know they should have special cars that nobody ever puts in racing games like I mean I doubt they'll put any trucks in the game, but if they did, you've got the Ram SRT-10, you've got the less-known Chevy Silverado SS, which, by the way, was a very cool truck. you got the Ford Lightning, which I really want them to make a new Ford Lightning. I think they're miss they missed, missed out on quite a lot by not making a new Ford Lightning on the new F-150 platform, because I think it would be a really cool truck, but that's beside the point. I want to see some, um, some not-so-common cars in um, in Need for Speed Rivals. I think, it, I think it would be a great addition, and I think it would set it apart from previous Need for Speed titles and from the competition. I think it would, it would give it a little bit of an edge because it would be the only place that you could go to get these very special cars. So if you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comment section below what features and cars you want to see in Need for Speed Rivals. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more daily videos. I will see you guys later.